fill it in. I'm going to use a line-by-line -line approach to fill in the missing numbers in the frequency tree. The first line tells me that 50 people took a driving test, and you can see that there's a 50 here already, so that must be that line. This line tells me that 35 people predicted that they would pass. So this is where I'm going to put the prediction, and this is the pass, so that's 35 in there. Now when you take a driving test, you can only pass or fail, so straight away I can work out what number goes in here. If there were 50 people and 35 predicted they would pass, then 15 must have predicted that they would fail. This line tells me that 28 of the people who predicted they would pass did actually pass, so this is the result. So for the 35 people that predicted they would pass, 28 of them did pass. Again, because they can only pass or fail, we can work out this number here. 35 take away 28 is 7, so 7 of the people who said they thought they were going to pass must have actually failed. This line tells me that 40 people passed altogether. Now, I already know that 28 people have passed that predicted they would. And I need to make it up to 40 here with people who predicted they would fail. So 40 take away 28 is 12. This tells us that 12 of the people who predicted they would fail actually passed. That means that three of them did fail and this finishes off the tree. One way of checking your answer is to add up all of these and it should come to 50. And all of these should come to 50 as well. They both do, so I think my answer is correct. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. 